This video is sponsored by Masters of Photography. I think about photographs as being full or empty. You picture something in a frame and it's got lots of accounting going on in it. Stones and buildings, trees and air, but that's not what fills up a frame. You fill up a frame with feelings, energy, discovery, and risk, and leave room enough for someone else to get in there. These are words by Joel Meyerowitz, a renowned street, portrait, and landscape photographer whom I'm sure many of you already know, but maybe the best way to describe Joel is by calling him a master at observing life. Observation. Really, that's all we do. We're observers. We're like Mount Palomar. We're a telescope looking at the world. And our observations give us subjects, appetite, uh, direction. It, it's, it basically, it's the guiding um, force behind making photographs, the quality of our observations. That clip you just saw is from Joel Marowitz's very own online course with Masters of Photography, who are today's sponsor. Personally, I'm very inspired by Joel Meyerowitz's street photography work. He has this innate ability to notice the most beautiful moments, photograph them, and have them ask more questions than they provide answers. I can talk this entire video about Joel's work, um, specifically his street photography work, but that's not really what inspires me the most about Joel, to be honest. Beyond his beautiful work as a street photographer, or just photographer in general, I'm continuously inspired by his attitude and approach to photography. This is something you see every time he talks, um, and very extensively in his course. I think street photographers can, you know, sometimes get a bad rap. Um, they might come off as pretentious, uh, really exclusive and uninviting sometimes to, you know, a beginner photographer. They might have these really strong beliefs about how things should be done, and they might look or seem like these rules that they're presenting on you. Um, and, you know, sometimes you could refer to this as gatekeeping in a way. You know, that's not something you really get from Joel when he talks. Photographs. When, when we look at them, should invite us in. They don't necessarily want to push us away. You, you want people to look at your photograph and enter into the moment that you responded so fully to. Because those are often poetic moments. A moment when your consciousness is so excited by where you are that you Enter the space yourself, and you record the entirety of the space. And that's, that's what makes art. Your consciousness and your attention. Not all photographers are great teachers, and it's not like it's something that's owed to people. You know, it's not of every photographer's responsibility to teach everything they know to some stranger. But when you listen to Joel Meyerowitz speak, you get this sense of selflessness and this honesty that he truly wants you to grow as a photographer. For someone who knows so much about photography, he doesn't hold back that knowledge from people. And I think that's, you know, a quality to him as a photographer in person that is really inspiring to me. So you hang out on the corner and the boredom that you feel goes away. Just goes away because you're watching interesting things happen or you're just watching ordinary things happen, but something out of the ordinary just comes along and suddenly you see it. Look at that, quick. Oh, oh, oh got him in the air, got him, got him in the air. Let's see, let's see, there he is. Joel continues to be an inspiration to me in this way, and it's really what I want to do here on YouTube. I mean, I don't have all the answers as a photographer, but I don't think you need this certain level of experience or knowledge to be able to share with other people what you know and you know share your own experiences with other people. Honestly, it's what makes YouTube such a great platform for photographers 
because everyone has a different experience and that experience is worth sharing because someone can learn from that. A bit more on Joel's class that he has with Masters of Photography. There's 34 classes with over five hours of content that Joel provides to you and it's just a great insightful look into all aspects of photography. It's not just about street photography. From finding your own subject, looking at the differences between black and white or color, to even seeing your neighborhood in a fresh way, he goes through all these different subjects. And you know, when Joel Meyerowitz talks, you are just glued to the screen because you want to listen to everything he has to share. So I highly recommend this course to anyone who wants to learn from Joel Meyerowitz himself. Uh, you can use the code FISAL10 to get 10% off your purchase. So Joel Meyerowitz actually shot a ton of his street photography on Fifth Avenue in Midtown Manhattan. And when I was out in New York, I wanted to do a little ode to his, um, I guess, favorite place to shoot street. And I basically just send it all the way from Central Park to the Flatiron Building, just walking straight down uh, Fifth Avenue taking pictures. <laughs> 